Another huge investment for Book.io, SundaySwap gives us the first ever live demo of Hydra, and Oracles are finally live on Cardano thanks to Charlie 3. It's time for the weekly report. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today it's time for the weekly report. So we're going to go through our normal updates like we always do, but this week we thought we'd do things a little bit differently, and if you stick around till the end, we thought it'd be kind of fun to have everyone's favorite meme maker, Anthony, join us and share his thoughts on Cardano this week. Let's jump in. So the first big news this week is another a huge investment for Book.io. Venture capital firm BDMI, the wholly owned subsidiary of the media, services, and education company Bertelsmann, has closed an investment in Book.io, the leader in NFT ebooks. This is a venture capital cash infusion and partnership, and these kinds of things are really important for small companies because we've known for a while, as Josh says here, that the product roadmap, the idea is to expand well beyond ebooks to include audiobooks and other types of digital media in the future. We look forward to building our relationship with BDMI and their network of media experts throughout Bertelsmann. So BDMI is the investment arm of Bertelsmann. So a bit about Bertelsmann, they are a media services and education company. They operate in about 50 countries. And many of you, if you've read physical books for a long time, you probably recognize the publisher Penguin Random House that is also a company owned by Bertelsmann. So this is an absolutely huge partnership and investment. The Book.io team seems to keep outdoing themselves with these announcements over and over again. But the important thing that we see here is that this is now very quickly growing growing outside of just being a fun project on Cardano. These are serious, huge partnerships that they're making with corporations that are spread all over the world. And not only does the cash give them the roadmap to keep growing, but more importantly, it's the reach that comes with the connections with these companies. Then from there, we had two really big announcements that came out of the Rare Bloom conference. The first one is the Sunday Swap team giving a demo of something they've been working on for months, Sunday Swap on Hydra. We did a deep dive on Hydra and how the Hydra heads were going to work, but this demo by Sunday Swap swap really shows the power of what it can do. And an important caveat to keep in mind that Pi mentioned several times, that while this is not on mainnet yet, it's an important milestone, not just for Sunday Swap, but also for Cardano as a whole. Let's zoom in here. So the resolution is kind of grainy, and this is them on a test net. But what we're going to see is using Sunday Swap on top of Hydra, we're going to do a swap from one ADA to get some Raspberry tokens on the test net. They're going to click on Confirm Swap. And here's what you want to look out for. Once the swap is actually done and actually swapped one token for another, not just submitted, but actually swapped from one wallet to the next, we're going to see a little green box that pops up here when the swap is full fully complete. So check this out. All right, so we got our one ADA confirm swap. That's it. Did you see that? Let's do it again. There's another one. There's another one. And there's another one. That was not four submissions. That was four different swaps, each of them completing in less than a second. This is absolutely incredible to see live and really huge news for the Sunday swap team. Great work on this. We cannot wait to see how this rolls out. And with that, the other huge piece of news that came out at Rare Bloom is that Charlie 3 and their Oracle is now live on mainnet. As a reminder, the way the Oracles work and the importance of Oracles is that smart contracts like Plutus that run on Cardano can execute based on any kind of arbitrary logic. But it's important to remember that those smart contracts still only live in the confines of the Cardano blockchain itself. Think of Cardano or any other blockchain as being sort of a self-enclosed bubble. It can do whatever it needs to inside of that bubble. And to be able to interact with another blockchain in another bubble, you would need a bridge, which we've talked about in the past. But much more simply than that, if in that bubble you want your smart contracts to respond to outside events in the outside world, you need a read-only feed that's coming in from an outside Oracle. And so now that we're fully in the Vazel era and with reference datums and reference scripts, Oracles can finally go live, and this data that feeds in from the outside world, multiple users can reference that single point of information without having to consume it. And the first team to bring us Oracles to Cardano is Charlie 3. If you want to learn a little more about Charlie 3, we'll link their website down below. But let's take a look here, and we can actually see this live Oracle feed in real time. They're going to provide all kinds of live streaming information that dApps on the network can use to respond to and then take action with their smart contracts. But to start, this initial feed is just a price data. So if we click on this link here, we can see here's the node feed and all the different transactions. The way this works is here's this node feed and every single transaction in its datum is going to have the feed information. So we're going to do this in a couple of steps. Let's click on this transaction as a first one, for example. Let's grab the transaction details and we can come to Cardano scan. Let's paste it in. All right, now if we scroll down, let's go to the UTXOs and we can see here, this is the datum information that's passed along that can be used to reference this Oracle information. Let's click on inspect and using Cardano scans datum inspector, we can see here this data that's passed along. 
This looks like just some random integers, but if we look, this one is 356605. Let's go and open up another one. So let's go back and let's uh, go back a little while in this feed. We can see all of this data that's being pushed out throughout the network now. Let's go back several hours. Okay, so this is a day ago. Let's grab this transaction. Let's grab that transaction hash. Let's come to Cardano scan and paste that in. And then let's open up the datum for this transaction. Okay, so here we see this integer is 356605, the one that just happened just recently. And then we can see that about a day ago, it was 370942. What does that sound a lot like? It sounds to me a lot like the ADA price over the past couple of days. I've not yet gotten confirmation on this from the Charlie 3 team, but I'm pretty sure that since this is their feed data and the whole point of what we're trying to do is pass this data so it can be inspected, this right here is a live streaming feed of the ADA price. This is going to be absolutely huge for the rollout of dApps on Cardano, many of them for any kind of thing they want to respond to, price, weather data, anything like that, you need to have that read-only feed coming in from an Oracle so your smart contracts can be that much smarter. Once Charlie 3 has an easier to use explorer that we can dig into to really see this feed in a more human readable way, we'll do another video covering it, but this is a massive step that is live on the main net right now. So for the Charlie 3 team, if I'm misunderstanding something here, please let me know, I'm happy to do a follow-up. And so for everybody else, as promised, we do these videos every week and we cover all the exciting stuff going on on Cardano. But I worry that sometimes it almost gets a little bit too serious when there's a lot of fun stuff going on as well and a lot of really cool people in the Cardano ecosystem. One of my favorites, is Anthony and his stuff that he always shares really just cracks me up. So I thought it might be fun to invite him on and just share whatever's on his mind. So to close out, we'll leave you with Anthony's thoughts. We'll see you next week. Yo, Cardano! What's going on guys? It's Anthony here. Uh, I just want to thank Woodland uh, Aspen Pools for asking me to be a part of this. Um, to celebrate, I'm going to be giving away uh, free NFTs and possibly some ADA to the first 10 people that go to this website. So good luck, guys. Uh, enjoy yourselves, and I'll catch you next week.